Tough to eat a liquid, a soup, on a set on of a stairs. On a stair. Oh, you're getting all over my whap. Oh. No, you, you had a said, tone. Is this you your had bin? a tone. You had a tone. Yeah, nothing, nothing quite measures up to Florida cuisine. No. Hey Ryan, hey Shane from Portland, Oregon. I have a breakfast recommendation for you guys. The restaurant I'm recommending. Elegant, simple, soothing, delicious. Amazing. Or if you're going to get see you in Portland. Welcome to Food Files, where we take your recommendations and our mouths across the country to investigate delicious food. My partner, a Midwest cheese lover. Myself, a Southern California garbage monster. Both of us, hungry. This week, we're in Portland for our Ghost Files tour and are about to try some tasty ass food. And so to make this show happen, we have Adam Bianchi, food expert, bringing us this food. Uh, him right there, looking, looking like a fucking snack himself. Might have to download that food file later. <laughs> oh, because it's food files, you're downloading them. That's right. Got it. We could also say ingest. No, that's good. Okay, so this was the first stop on the Ghost Files tour. We were in Portland two nights. Now when we tour, the schedule is very, very tight. You fly into a city, maybe you get there in the afternoon, you gotta check into the hotel, maybe you squeeze in a nap, but then you gotta get to the venue, you gotta do a sound check, you gotta run through the queues. You get to the green room, and uh, by then it's showtime, and maybe you'll eat whatever food they've got back there. It's always a, it's always a toss-up. It is a toss-up. Part of the impetus for this show is the fact that when we get to these green rooms, which is basically just a room, you pretty much hang out there until you go on stage. But you don't really get to have food from the city. You get food that's from the venue. So in this particular case, the show bar burger from the show bar. Oh, nice burger time. Oh, hell yeah, dude. I'm so hungry. Well, I'm glad I got the Cajunized. Look at this cute little pickle on top. They, did they not get my kombucha? I think it's in the fridge. Oh, fuck yeah. I gotta be careful with this because it might have too much caffeine for me. I think if I drink half of it, I should be okay. Because there's two milligrams of caffeine in decaf coffee. And I believe there's 10 to 15 in this. And that'll get me sick. So we're playing with fire here. I do want to go peek at that Let's auditorium. Go, should we take a peek? Let's go take a peek. Is, it, is anyone wearing the shirts? We'll see. Did they get them? It's a good episode. Yeah, I'm, it's terrifying watching people react to it because then you find out if things are landing or not. God damn, it's good. That's a good burger. Is it? The fries are excellent. That's a good burger. We should eat a burger every day of the tour. <laughs> <laughs> They're good as hell. They're really spicy. I, mean, I hope I don't have to excuse myself on stage. Nah, just shit your pants, man. I'm not gonna do that. It will give people something to talk about. They'll be like, it oh, would you go to the shit pants show? <laughs> it would. I went to the show where Shane shit his pants on stage. <laughs> so we were in Portland two nights. Day two, we're actually in the city for a full day. We see Powell's, which is one of the biggest bookstores. I think it's the biggest bookstore in the world, There's right? a lot of damn books, that's all I know. We're walking around Powell's and who do we see? Adam. He's got a bag full of chicken and waffles from Screen Door, which two of you recommended. I have a breakfast recommendation for you guys. I want to recommend the restaurant Screen Door. And my favorite dish is the chicken and waffles. They have sweet potato waffle and it's delicious. Their fried chicken is cooked perfectly. It is perfectly crisp and seasoned. Ah, oh, I hope you really enjoy it. I can't wait to see you in Portland. And we had them on the street. It was good as hell. Very delicious. The waffle had something going for it. It was like a cinnamon, oh, it was a cinnamon kind of yes, taste. Yes, yes, yes. They're actually sweet potato waffles. Sweet potato waffles. That makes sense, because they were sweet. <laughs> they were. That's the analysis you're gonna get on this show. <laughs> sweet potato waffles, sweet. Now we did have the chicken and waffles earlier this day, but now it's time to get serious. We are at the venue and it's time to have our first proper food files meal. That's right, let's download. Let's uh, take a look at the video let's submission. See, let's see what we've been briefed on here. My name is Crow. The restaurant I'm recommending is called Shalom Y'all. It's a Mediterranean restaurant focused around the Levant. I highly recommend the chicken shawarma or the Shalom Y'all plate, really good. 
It's a lot of food and a really cozy atmosphere and they have some wonderful people working there. And it's my favorite place to have some of my favorite food. Wow. wow. Oh, it's pita. I could tell it's hot in my hand too. Homemade, they make their own pitas? Yeah, I mean, this is pita's real spankable. It's pretty good. Well, give it a spank, give it a spank. It feels good. Yep, that's nice. Uh, y'all plate, falafel, hummus, labna, tahina, marinated beet, and pita. I think we gotta try the pita au natural. It's very fluffy. It's good dough. Yeah, oh, look at these little, three little olives. That's what I put in my martinis, just like that. Boop, boop, okay, boop. take it easy. Like three little pals. Uh, can we please do the falafel after this? Because it's looking at me right now and I'm looking back. Look at this nicely crafted ball. That's about to go straight in my mouth. Right? Are you gonna eat it all in one bite? Of course I'm gonna eat it I all I think I'm gonna bite. do it in two. I like to have my teeth sort of crack the crust. Mm. Oh, that's really good. I didn't expect it to be <laughs> it's really good. seasoned on the inside. The crunch is quite satisfying. You didn't even see it, but it's green inside. I'm gonna put a fuck ton of hummus on this. It's really good. Do you want a little bite of the falafel? Here, Mar, try this. I, you should. It's quite good. Green as hell. Yeah, it's very good. It's really good. Okay, so now we're trying the. Uh, let's, let's dig into the shawarma. Yeah. This is gonna. Is this your bib? Yeah, it's gonna get messy. Well, can you do it? Can you do it in half? Well, now you're you made fun of the bib first, and now you're. I didn't make fun of it. I just said, "Is this your bib?" You had a tone. You had a tone. Look at that. That's good. Fucking pear, dude. I wouldn't mind eating like this all the time. Neither would I. You mean in the sense of having Adam like a little pig food to us? This is a fat ass taco. I don't even know how I'm gonna eat this. Did you call it a taco? It's like a taco. Is it just because it folds that it way? It folds, it's a taco. You go first. You're biting into the taco from the side like that? What are you, an alien? I can't do it from anywhere else. Is this your first time eating a taco? Why is it a taco like that? It's not a taco. <laughs> what the fuck are you? Shut, shut up. Here's what I'm gonna, here, I'll eat the taco the proper way, like a human does it. There was no chicken on the very edge of it, so I went into the side. It is good. We should request this before every live show we do. Yeah, dude, we're gonna, they're gonna roll our ass on stage. I'm so ready to go on stage. Yeah. Thank you, Crow. <laughs> Thank you, Crow. The venue had a strange vibe because it used to be a school. Well, there were lockers Classic in the hallways. Classic old school. I felt like George Clooney and Vera Farmiga in that one scene in Up in the Air. Very specific reference, and that's not even based in Portland, but yeah, I but, do remember yeah, that scene. it was like that. Um, you could have said any other, you could have said Boy Meets World, you could have said any high school-based drama. But, but a stunning school, a really nice school. It's a shame it's not a school anymore, but hey, it's our benefit, because we get to We get to put, there. as our producer Lizzie Lockard says, our soft, sweet little bodies in there. That's right. She says that too often. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Normally one person eats a meal and thinks, I'm full, I'm done. But we think, let's have an entire second meal. And so we did that on a set of stairs. It's time to download our second food file. And it, uh, sure, it is maybe irresponsible to have an entire second meal after one meal. Doubly so when you're about to get on stage. But have we ever been responsible? <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know what the hell you're doing. All right. It's time to download. Let's see this uh, next food file. All right, my dudes, if you're coming to Portland, Oregon, there's only one place you need to stop at, and that's Nong's for their Kalman guy. Chicken and rice. Elegant, simple, soothing, delicious. Really, it's the only thing that you need here. We get a lot of rainy days here in Portland, like a lot, and we need comforting, delicious food, and Nong's is the place to get it. So check it out. You won't be disappointed. Mwah. I'm very excited. She really sold that. I don't know how this works at all. There is a card in here that says how oh, to Oh yeah, eat. let's look at the instructions. How to eat Nong's Kao Mong Kai. One, unwrap. Two, add sauce. Then it's three, take a bite of chicken, rice, and sauce. Four, take a sip of soup. Then five, take a bite of cucumber to cleanse palate. This is a whole thing. This is like putting Legos together. I like it. Did you ever eat on the stairs in high school? Were you a loser? Did I eat on the stairs? I felt like the high school stairs lunch area was reserved for like- We had a cafeteria. I mean- That smells like liquid. Did you just say the soup smells like liquid? <laughs> well, it's just sort of a broth smell. You've got right? a regular Bourdain over here. 
It looks wet. <laughs> <laughs> Feels wet. It smells delightful, by the way. It's really, like, this actually smells like something I used to eat at home. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. <laughs> I'm, I'm just commenting. I'm trying uh, to transport. Sorry, I didn't know. I signed up for your autobiography. I'm here. trying to transport the viewers into this Who eating experience. Who gives a shit? Just to- your face is all red like you're doing a squat. <laughs> Oh, fuck. oh my god, that's so good. Fuck. Oh, and then a sip. Dude, I'm in absolute heaven right now. That's good soup. My mom did make something that was like this, and I'm having a legit ratatouille moment where you kind of like get transported back. It's a lot to eat. <laughs> I think the difference between you and me is you like eating. I love eating. I like it, but I wish like 80% of the time I could opt out. You could take a pill, and that yeah. would be your nutrients for the day. Yeah. Sometimes it's a very time-consuming, you know? <laughs> it is. And you always have to be like, what am I going to have now? I get, no, I, 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 do, a little bit I do understand that, the anxiety. What do I got to have what, I, what am I actually going to have tonight? The worst was during the pandemic when you had to be like, okay, it's another week. There's going to be seven days. <laughs> 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 we have to eat every one of them. We're going to partition out 21 meals. Honestly, one of the tastiest things I've ever had in my entire life. Good liquid with it. It had a liquid. It did have a, it's interesting that you describe it that way. It doesn't make it sound appetizing. But it, it had did, solid as well as liquid, which is always nice. It had solid and liquid, yeah. and both of them were equally tasty. Mm, God damn, that sauce. I think it's like, you know, I'm a big fan of Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah. And I like how you can sort of mush everything together. On You're a big plate. fan of it, the history it was founded on? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't... One for the home team. I'm a huge fan of Thanksgiving and everything it stands for. Yeah. That's what I was trying to say, apropos of nothing. It wasn't related to food. Let me just sneak in this cancel me here. You were saying you're a big fan of Thanksgiving. It's good. Well, I like a, a big mush meal where you just mush it all together. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that too. The cranberry sauce, mashed potatoes, gravy, filling, not filling, stuffing. We're <laughs> filling. I mean, it's yeah. the same thing. You know what I mean. Turkey filling. Can I get some of that filling? <laughs> well, the, we got to go put on the show now. Okay, someone will pick this up, right? Yeah. Is that the vibe we want to yeah. leave, leave with? The, we just leave our hey, trash everywhere? what are you going to do? Litter. I think yeah. you should. <laughs> okay, well that does it for this first episode of Food Files. Thank you all for watching, and thank you to all of you guys who have come out to see us on the tour on Ghost Files Live. Uh, It's been amazing seeing all of your faces out there. And if you do want to purchase tickets for the Ghost Files tour, there still are tickets for Los Angeles, San Francisco, Minnesota, and Las Vegas. Join us next time when we visit beautiful Seattle.